What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua, David Price. And this is an episode of Sparring Wars. Absolutely. You guys know I've started this episode uh, series this year, and it's had some decent reviews. And we're not stopping now, okay? We're going to take this new news into the new years, okay? And we're going to switch gears, bars. And let's keep talking about sparring wars. Because we know once sparring wars is the platform of any fight or any possible fight, okay? And sparring wars are, is a way of these times where it, we could at least see people throw down without the politics of what's going on with promotional companies and money and fame and all types of other stuff. Okay, so sparring wars to me, you know, is very important. Just like the epic sparring that Gennady Golovkin and Canelo did years before they even fought, you know, things like that. Or when Oscar De La Hoya was dropped by Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., the legend, okay, two years before they fought. You know, these type of things happen and these sparring wars are a way for uh, these guys to express them way to express themselves, these guys to practice, you know, practice their craft, and these guys to be humbled or humble other fighters that think they know what's going on. Okay, so let's talk about this particular sparring wars involving David Price and Anthony Joshua. Okay, according to uh, eyewitnesses. Anthony Joshua had to be helped up after being dropped by David Price with a big right hand in sparring, okay? And I think about David Price. You know, I know the war he had with uh, Povetkin. You know, he is like a tall, oblong cat. You know, he was going to fight Tyson Fury, another fight that didn't happen for Fury. I think Fury, that's what happened to a lot of his resume you know, his absence, you know, hurt his resume. But David Price is a very hard-hitting heavyweight, very big guy, you know. And, of course, these two British heavyweights were former training partners at Team GB at Sheffield, um, England. And one of the sessions in 2011 stands out amongst them all as Price floored then-amateur uh, AJ opened up on the incident. Price told ID Boxing, I just caught him with a big right hand and he went down. He had to be helped up type of thing and ushered out of the ring. And it was no big deal to me at the time. And there was no shame in that happening to you if I hit you. Joshua was one year away from winning the Olympic gold in London which later paved the way for two unified world championship reigns in the professional rankings. And in 2018, he admitted that he, he admitted to being put down by Price just hours after leaving a police cell. Joshua revealed, I had come out of the police cell that day. I went up to training. I won't use it as an excuse. <laughs> I was coming up to training camp Thursday to Sunday because I was on a development course. But I got nicked on the way to training camp for just trouble, and I got out on Saturday. I started sparring as soon as I got up there, straight from the station. I do think he was very good at the time, very strong, and I was making too many mistakes. Those circumstances don't help when you're sparring an elite fighter. I even had to get the train. I even had to get the train to Sheffield because they took my car just to show my commitment. What I learned was you cannot stop someone like me. They say you have two types of fighters, those that get dropped and stay down, but those, those ones you have to be wary of are the ones who keep on coming. You just cannot stop someone like that. I got caught with the big right hand and down he went. Or I just caught him with a big right hand and down he went. I learned it will take more than just power or durability to stop me. Joshua, now 33, is set to return in spring of 2023 following his two losses 
to Oleksandr Usyk. And let me counterpunch. Um, yes, 2011, a long time ago. Won the Olympic gold in 2012. The rest is history. Lost to Andy Ruiz in 2019. Same year, got him back. Beat Povetkin, his mandatory IBF. Uh, was defeated by the mandatory, the WBO, uh, Alexander Povetkin, two times. Now he's coming back, doing his thing again. So we'll see where he begins. But that was a long time ago, 2011. Uh, David Price, of course, was a savage at that time. Okay. And let me take a look at David Price's career back then. Okay. So we got to go back a ways. <laughs> right. Um, let's check his box rack. Why not? Why not? Okay. So he has seven losses. And in 2011, he had no losses, okay? And that's what I thought. I just wanted to verify. Um, 2011, when he knocked out Anthony Joshua, he was also he also knocked out uh, professionally um, Oshborn Makimana, Rafael Butler, Tom, Tom Dallas, all of those he took out, okay? Those are the three victims of, and all of those were knockouts, okay? So you got a, you got a guy with 20 knockouts, with 25 wins, seven losses. But by the time he took a, 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 AJ down, um, first of all, AJ wasn't even a pro. You know what I mean? He was still getting into trouble if he was getting picked up. So we got to call it what it is, and we have to be very fair on what we do. Now, speaking of what AJ said, though, again, we have to be fair. You saying, hey, I just got, I just came right from the police station and I went right to sparring. I'm not using that as an excuse. Eh, you're already using it as, as an excuse. You're using it as an excuse as you say it's not used as an excuse. You know what I mean? Like, hey, I just got out. You know what I mean? I was groggy. You know, like, let, let's make some death behind it. When, when someone says, I'm not making excuses, dude, you're about to. It's almost like saying, you know what, hey, man, uh, no disrespect, <laughs> right? But I'm going to disrespect you. And I think that, you know, David was a savage at that time. And I think it was right for David Sa David Price to not feel some, some type of way about it. But to counterpunch David Price, why is he talking about something that happened in sparring? Counterpunch. See, that's the last thing you really want to talk about is something that you did in sparring. However, it's here. However, if nobody talked about what happened in sparring, we wouldn't have a sparring wars uh, series, would we? <laughs> right. But I do think, you know, if you didn't hear Daniel Dubois screaming, I knocked out AJ, you didn't hear Joey DeWaco talking about I knocked out AJ, even though he said he didn't. He he just kept it neutral because he loved the buzz he was having with having, which is un, which is inspe expected. I would expect him to feel that way, because I mean, you know, it's not every day someone talks about a journeyman, and Joey Dewaco's a journeyman, and you know, and, and at the time, you know, he was that man to talk about because he was that man that's supposed to gave that other man, which is Anthony Joshua, concussion. So you know, that's another sparring war incident right there. But in this case, David Price talking about a guy that was an Olymp was an amateur. I don't think I don't see why he was talking about that. And it, and it to me, I just look at it. I think it's ca actually kind of desperate because it's like you're talking about knocking a guy out or putting a guy down when he was an amateur, but he's not an amateur now. What does that mean now? Well, that means that he is worth talking about, AJ. AJ is worth talking about because of what he's accomplished versus what David Price didn't. Yeah, so that's my counterpunch on that. You know, you guys tell me what you think of David Price stating that Anthony Joshua had to be helped up and he dashed out of the ring. I would Now, that's what I wanted to see, how he reacted, you know, because <laughs> that shows a lot about character. Right. We hear that word all the time from AJ character, you know, him brushing it off and just, you know, getting back in there would have showed more character or take a break than get back in there, not dash out of the ring. OK, because we kind of seen that in his last fight.
But anyway, <laughs> you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.